Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be going over how to create an interactable pickup. As you guys can see here, I have these little cubes to represent our pickup item. And when you come within this uh, collision sphere here, you'll see that a little widget pops up. It says press E to interact. And if you look over here in the top left, um, we're actually doing a line trace from the camera to see which objects we're uh, hitting. This way you actually have to be looking directly at the object to be able to interact with it. So even though you're within this sphere and the widget will pop up letting you know that you can interact with the object, if I push E right now, you'll see that nothing happens because we're hitting the floor. But if I actually point at the object, you see here it says pick up item and I hit E. You see it says you have one item and now the pickup item has been removed. And I just want you to know that this system will work even with multiple items in the same area. So right here I actually have two pickup items that are overlapping each other. And you'll see that this is sensitive to pick up only one at a time. So right now we're on pickup item two. And if we pan over, we're now on pickup item three. And if I hit E, you will see that we remove pickup item three and pickup item two still remains. And you can hit E again and now we've picked up all three. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how you can recreate this yourselves. So what we're gonna to need to do is first we're gonna to need to create a widget. So we'll go to user interface here, widget blueprint, my new pickup widget. And we'll just open this up. We don't need it to fill screen, we'll make a custom. We'll make this about 550 by 50. And all we're gonna put in here is a text just to let the user know that they can interact with an object. And then you can select this, change its color, and we'll make it the same size as our canvas. Make this font a little bigger, not that big. And center it. So hit compile and save. And that's all we need to do for our for our pickup widget. So we can X out of this here. And I'm gonna delete all of this stuff that I did before. I don't know why the computer is lagging right now. Okay, and our pickup item, I'll make a new one. So right click here, go to Blueprint Class. We'll create an actor. My new pickup. And we'll double click here. And we're just gonna add, we'll say a sphere. We will add another component. This will be our widget. And finally, we'll add a sphere collision. And we can make this something like 15 by 15 by 15. So this will be the radius that we can interact with the object. And now we'll go to our widget here. We'll make it my new pickup widget. See it says press E to interact. Bring that down a little bit. We'll make this 550 by 50. There we go. All right, compile and save. Now what we'll do is in our pickup, 
we're going to cast to our player character. This way we'll have a reference to our player character. And we'll right click here and save this as a variable. Now the other thing we need to do, make a sequence here. Is we're going to take our widget here. And we'll say set rotation. Because we want our widget to always face our player. So we'll split this here. And what we're going to do is set timer by event. We'll make this looping. And we'll have this run every 0.1 seconds. Make a custom event. We'll just call this spin. We'll hook it up to here. And we will get our world location. And then we'll take our player reference. We'll get the world location of our capsule. And we will find the look at rotation and split that. Because really all we want is to change the z-axis as our player moves around. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is with our sphere collision, we're going to set up a couple overlap events. So on begin and on end overlap. And what we want to do is have a variable here that lets us know if we're allowed to interact with this object. So we'll call it can interact. So now we're going to check if this other actor equals our player character. If we hold B, we can make a branch node here and hook this up. And then we'll just copy and paste this down here. for end overlap. And what we're going to do is we want to set these. So if it is our player character, we will be able to interact. And when they leave the area, we will stop interacting. The other thing we want to do is get our widget And here on Begin Play, we will set the visibility to Hidden. Now if we Control C, we can copy that. Control V. And what we want to do here is hide it when we end overlap and reveal it when we begin. So now, let's delete these. We'll put in our new pickup. And if we hit play, we should see there's nothing. And then as we get closer, you see it says press E to interact. OK, so that's working well. Now we want to go into our third person character. And we'll create another event on a timer. And this event will be our line trace. We'll have this update every 0.1 seconds. What we're going to do is line trace by channel. Now the start of our line trace will be our camera. So we'll get the world location.
And then for this, we will get the forward vector. And we're going to multiply this by a float. This is how far out you want your line trace to go. So just say 5,000 units. And we're going to add the current location of the camera to the forward vector out 5,000 units. And this is where we are going to end our line trace. And then we're going to split this struct pin here. And just for display purposes, we'll get the display name. We will print this. So we'll see what we're hitting. And then we want to cast to our new pickup item. So if our line trace has hit one of our pickup items, we will continue on. We'll promote this to a variable. So that we can keep track of it. And if it's false, what we want to do is set by reference here. And the target will be my pickup item. So what this is going to do is basically clear out um, our pickup item. So if we don't actually contact a pickup item, if we hit the floor or something, we don't want it to still remember the last time we hit the pickup item because then we'll be able to interact with it. So setting this by reference and not putting anything here for this value, we'll leave it as it'll end up being null. Then we'll use E. Everybody likes the E key. And what we're going to do off of the E key is we'll grab our pickup item and we'll first check if it's valid. So we'll have a branch node here. We'll make sure we're actually working with a valid reference. So basically that means that we're currently line tracing, we're casting, and this is a valid reference. Because if we aren't, we'll end up down here and we're going to have a null value. Once we know that it's valid, we can then get we want to get um, sorry it's can interact so can interact we'll have a branch node here and then we'll make sure that we can interact with our object so this is going to check and make sure that we're within the sphere and this is going to check and make sure that we're line tracing to the appropriate object. And if we can, what we will do is destroy the actor. And then whatever happens after this is what you do with your inventory or just before you destroy the actor. For me, I'm just going to create a variable inventory items. And all I'm going to do is increment this. And then we can print out the number that we have. So do something like this. Hit compile and save. And let's check this out. So if we hit play, we're line tracing to the wall. Now we have press E to interact. Now if I push E, right now I'm currently on a cube mesh, so it doesn't do anything. Floor, nothing. My new pickup. And as you guys see there, it says you have one item currently. And our item is gone. So if we hit stop, everything's good. Now let's try this with a few more. 
So we'll copy this, we'll put them next to each other, and we'll have one that overlaps. We'll hit play, and we'll see if it will distinguish. So now you see that that's following us around. And as I go away from that, you see the first one comes and goes. So now if I come here, I can technically interact with all three of these, but if I push E, nothing happens. And as I slowly pan over, my new pickup two. Now if I push E, you see only one has been removed. There's my new pickup three. Pushing E, nothing happens. My new pickup one. And if we go away and I hit E, and there you go. All right, guys, I hope you thought that was helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more tutorials. All right, see you guys later.